I was low-key having a full-on anxiety attack and I was just sitting here like, why me? And then I went in and went to the bathroom and there was my period. <laughs> My name is Lindsay. My name is Melissa. And my name is Jasmine. And this week, we will be wearing white on our periods. Ah! We picked out five different outfits to wear every day that we have our period. And we're gonna try to go throughout the whole day without getting any without getting any stains on our clothes. I'm weirdly excited for this challenge because for some reason, every time my period hits, I just really want to wear white. It's kind of like when you crave Chick-fil-A and then realize it's Sunday. I am nervous and scared. I don't like to talk about periods or have one each month. I'm non-binary, gender fluid, so having periods cause a lot of gender dysphoria for me. I think when I was younger, it was something I was embarrassed about. It was just something that was like, no, 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 we're not gonna talk about that. Now I'm out here like, guess who's bleeding? I hope that this challenge encourages me to have more discussions about periods, that not only cisgender women can have them. I'm testing this challenge with tampons and I think it'll go all right. I am team maxi pad. I think that the pad is gonna give me like an advantage to the challenge, get those wings on there. No leakage there. I will be wearing a period cup. You know, it's those little things that look like shot glasses, except it's filled with blood. Like if that gets too full, it's gonna stay. I guess now we just wait for mother nature. Hello and welcome to day one of my period. I am bleeding. <laughs> welcome. So I just woke up and then I realized, oh, Great, I started my period. I also noticed that I stained my bed already, so off to a great start. My period is usually really heavy day one, so I'm not focused on being cute today. I decided to opt for some white sweatpants. Would I normally pick this on my period? Obviously not. It's just asking to get ruined. <laughs> I'm going for a big one here. It is these white flowy pants. Pants comfy. Also slightly see-through. I have a cup in and white pants and no underwear. <laughs> I'm just risking it literally all today. This is the final outfit I ended up going with. I am wearing gold ears. I did do my makeup to match with the shirt. The pants are really comfortable. They're loose. I can just sand in them. I really like the green and the white together. A black jacket with it. I think it's cute. I decided that I'm not gonna wear any makeup today. I have my Harry Styles merch on. It's just honestly, the white goes with the white really well. Do I love this outfit? I don't know, but it's comfortable, and why would I pass up an opportunity to wear Harry? I wouldn't. All right, hi. I just got done taking my photos. I'm gonna sit here for a minute because I straight up feel like I'm about to throw up. This really sucks because I was planning on going and like running errands and visiting my mom and my dad at work. I feel like shit. So I'm out for a walk because I have really bad cramps right now, and as much as I want to be laying in bed inside, I am trying to move around because apparently that's supposed to work. I don't know, it's online somewhere. No spillage yet. I did find out today that Melissa and I started our period on the same day, so, so we're ovary twins. I hope they are doing a little better than me today because I hurt. I thought it would be nice to call my sister. I wanna know what she thinks about the challenge. Hello. Hey. So I'm wearing white on my period. Okay, I love that brown <laughs> shirt you're wearing. Okay, well, I am wearing white on my period. Are you insane? I say my underwear and pants, like, a lot. <laughs> so one time in the eighth grade prom, I was dancing, I was having fun, and then my pants slipped out. It slipped out? Yeah, I just dropped. Like, looked like I'm tying my shoes, but I slipped it in and I ran away to the bathroom. I was supposed to go run an errand, be outside, live my life, but we need to get real about something and we need to talk about it and it's called period poops. I was in my car driving and I was like, this is not gonna be okay very soon. So I came home, I almost 
itself, honestly, so. I, of course, didn't get any blood on my pants, but how much worse would that have been if I, if I just got shit on my pants? I have successfully not ruined these pants. <laughs> Team pad is a go. I didn't end up getting any stains on the pants. I'm happy about that, but I know I was overtly cautious and it preoccupied my mind a lot. So I hope the rest of the days aren't as anxious. Good morning. I would like to debut a new member to this channel, Lindsay's period blood. Thankfully I didn't get on any clothes, but definitely got a little blood on my underwear, which is something that happens to me nearly every night. Yesterday, I was struggling. Hashtag period poops. But today is a new day. I'm wearing these really cute pants. They're like leggings, but they're a really thick material. I tried on both options together. It's not the immediate vibe. I feel like a bad 80s business person. Simply removing the jacket made it a lot better. I love my oversized top with it. This is like one of my favorite styles during quarantine. I was feeling really insecure about this look, so I texted Jazz and I was like, do I look like a Dalmatian? that got lost at the park. She goes, no, I love it. So now I feel better. It's obviously very 80s themed, very baggy, the biker shorts. This whole outfit is super comfortable. So that feels good on my tush. So it's day two, which is a lovely dress. It goes all the way to my ankles and has buttons. But since the waist is kind of tight and the bust as well, I'm experiencing a lot of chest dysphoria. I'll just try to remember that this is just a piece of clothing. The way I am and how I express myself is the most important. I'm here with my mother. You look so pretty. This whole week, I am styling white clothing items while being on my period. <laughs> it just makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Why? Because it's a hot mess. I'm with a friend and I was just about to tell her about the challenge I'm doing and I wanted to get your thoughts on it. We all just should wear what we want to wear. Yes. Let's be real. <laughs> True. It shouldn't matter whether we're on our period or not. Like, Seriously. We should look cute always and wear whatever colors we want. You know that feeling when you've been sitting for a long time and then you stand up. It's like Niagara Falls. <laughs> And I'm out running errands and I can't get a good look in the car. I've also been thinking like, what if I do have just like a giant red spot on my butt and everyone's just staring at me and then it's kind of like, who cares? The worst case scenario isn't even that people notice. The worst case scenario is that I ruined this very cute outfit. I'm feeling a bit better than I was earlier. It really helped seeing my friend going outside just to distract my mind from dysphoria that I was feeling. Not sure if I'll wear this dress often. Right now I do feel a bit bloated, so I'm just really excited to take it off. I, you know, went around, did whatever I had to do, but I did notice there is a tiny bit of a stain on this. I am not surprised because it is my second day. I would love to say like, that doesn't happen to you when you're older, but it does. Wow, so I really just woke up from like a two hour nap that was unexpected. But even though I didn't change my pad, no stains, she did it. Welcome to the third day of my period. I'm feeling exhausted. All I want to do is sleep. Overnight, I badly stained my underwear, <laughs> plus again, my sheets. So I'll have to be going through the process of cleaning them, putting them in the laundry again. I'm actually feeling so cute in this outfit today. I usually don't dress up on my period. <laughs> I went for like a more fall vibe look with this little blazer, put on a vinyl beret, and I have these little shiny cowboy boots that really ties the look together. I'm not gonna lie though, these are really tight up here and they're really hard to take on and off to go to the bathroom, so you know what that means. <laughs> this is the outfit I'm wearing today. The fit is a little bit more oversized and loose. It stops at my knees. I paired it with some of my favorite earrings and some heels. Looking and feeling Beautiful. This is my transform sparkles. 
hiking nature look. I'm wearing these very cute leggings, very chill sweatshirts. I've been into rocking little bandanas with my edges laid down. Honestly though, check out these little waves. We, we out here. I'm at a park with my sister. We're having a lovely picnic. You look really cute. I love it. You look like a little prince, right? Yes. <gasps> You're like a little flower. <laughs> yeah. Can you also um, help me check for any stains? It's like midway through the day. Yeah. <laughs> Just awkwardly stands up. Okay. <laughs> look good from here. <laughs> Yay. I'm out here by the river. There is nobody. <laughs> around me. I'm glad I came out here. I was feeling really like unmotivated and I was feeling oh, I'm so cute. I think um, during the quarantine and especially like going through periods and stuff, everything just seems a little bit more tough. So I'm a big fan of small wins. This is a small win. This period specifically for me has been really up and down in my emotions. For two minutes, I'll feel excited and happy and ready to go and do some work. And then the next minute I'm like feeling like the world's ending, but everything's been Gucci. Speaking of Gucci, I'm about to go drive around LA and try to find the Harry Vogue magazine. We'll check back in with you if I get it, and I'll check back in with you if I bleed. I'm still clean, nothing going on. It's the end of the day, and again, I didn't get any stains. I also didn't experience any sort of discomfort, either physically or mentally, so I'm really, really glad about that. I had no leaks today. The week started off very rough period poops and it's my third day and it was really good so I'm hoping the next two days are also you know welcome to day four I got this super cute tennis skirt a little bit big but honestly that's great for the bloating <laughs> I decided to pair it with this sweater that I absolutely love and I just feel like a little cute a little sporty you're not gonna get blood in the crotchy area but if it comes up the back if I'm sitting down it's all fair game it's really early in the morning I'm headed to the airport this is the outfit that I chose white jeans that are high-waisted they're sort of like the mom style jeans and I think they're really comfortable. Easy to just sit in for long hours, which I'll have to do. Um, that's the only thing I'm worried about. All right, so I was excited to like, you know, go out and take a photo. I don't think I'll be doing that. <laughs> this dress is very see-through. It's very light, it's very cute. Well, it's kind of okay and cute as I feel like a ghost. I'm a ghost. This is just, <laughs> please censor. I'm having a little picnic with the boyfriend. Do you like the outfit? Cute. Can you look at my butt? What are you laughing at? What's supposed to look for? For oh. the accidents. <laughs> Yay! It's the middle of the day. I've just arrived at my parents' place. Luckily, I also haven't seen my pants yet, so. That's nice. I will be bicycling later on throughout the neighborhood because I find it that it's really soothing and peaceful. Okay, so I grabbed my camera to check because I just changed my cup and there was a lot, a lot of blood. Anything? Anything? We're clear. I would have been so upset if I would have ruined this dress. <laughs> It's the end of day four, and the moment has come, which I'm extremely nervous about. I'm wearing white pajamas to bed. Something that's like periods 101 you don't do. Tonight is my family's Zoom video meetup for the holidays, hence my... My period, it's been a consistently like heavy-ish. I'm terrified to wear these white pants to bed. I got this really just beautiful pajama set. Can't wait to wear them to bed, but also I'm scared that I'll stain them. I have these cute little shorts, so comfortable. Again, don't want to ruin them. <laughs> these are my pants. They're just thin leggings. We will see how tonight goes. Gonna be a lot of sitting. I'm scared, <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Here I go. I guess I'll have the bleach at the ready. 
Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I can't. I'm gonna check and see if there was any leakage. Wow, you guys, she's clear. <gasps> I didn't. Nothing. This was a successful night, surprisingly. On top of that, I changed my cup and my cup was full. This was a great way to end this. Wow, I made it an entire week. But I do recognize that if I was sitting in class, if I was at a job that I couldn't leave my spot, this would be a different story. I thought I could make it clear through, but that was not in the cards for me. There were some moments, of course, when I had a lot of anxiety and insecurities, but I'm really proud of myself for exploring my gender expression more and just being honest with myself. If there's a stain of blood on your clothing, it's okay. Maybe offer whoever has their period around you like a brownie or something.